Hey, I'm Swamp Girl, and welcome to this Swamp and Ultrasound Adventure. That's right, ultrasound. We are going to bust out the ultrasound machine, okay? And we are going to check for eggs inside a couple snapping turtles, a peninsula cooter, and a softshell turtle. So, ready to get started? Here we go. For equipment, we have our probe, this is our convex probe, and we have our jelly, and we have our laptop, and I'm going to go ahead and grab our first snapping turtle. I'll have my lovely assistant hold on to this for me. All right, so here we have a common snapper, and she was struck by a car. Uh, she's got her braces on and she's healing really well, but uh, we do believe that she has eggs. So we want to check on those eggs and see if they are ready. I know, hi. So what we're going to do is go ahead and put some of the jelly. <laughs> Maybe, get the jelly on there. Yep, you can load it up. That's good. All right. And then we take this here. And with uh, soft shells and snappers, it's super easy because you can go right inside the opening here. And so I'm going to go ahead and just lift her gently. I know, I'm sorry. Please we'll just put the probe there. And there you go, we can already see them. It's like instantaneous. So you see those round things there? Yep, those are eggs and they're fully calcified and they're low, so that means that they're ready to pass. So that is good news for this lady. All right. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put her back and we have another snapping turtle. Now remember, this is how we do handling. We lift up at the bottom, slide our hand underneath to the plastron, and then we can gently lift safely. Okay, so now we have our second common snapping turtle. We're gonna, she's a little bit more stressed, so she's a bit more defensive, so we're gonna try to be nice and quick and easy with this. Hi, sweetheart, it's okay. Lift up your back end a little bit. Oh, oh and yep, there we go. Nice, beautiful eggs, look at that. All right, we'll try to get the laptop over so you can take a look. Put some more eggs in there. We can kind of scan around. Isn't that fascinating? I love x-rays and I love ultrasounds. My favorite things to do. All right. Well, we are going to let this lady de-stress. We are all set. I'm going to set this aside. And we will put you back so you can go back to healing. All right. Now we have a Peninsula Cooter a female. She was hit by a car just yesterday and brought in. So we're going to go ahead and check for eggs. We're going to see if the convex probe will work with her. Sometimes we have to switch probes, something a little smaller, uh, depending on if they're going to let me have their leg or not. So we're just gonna go ahead and see if we can slide up over in here. Um, the cavity or space, if you take a look, is much smaller, especially when they retract their leg. So it makes it a little harder for this to get into that space and get a good visual. So we kind of have to gently coax their leg out without stressing them, if possible. Can I have that? It says no. If not, we'll just have to go with the smaller version. Okay, I'm going to place this right in here. Thank you. Sometimes it's just a little patient. We can get them to cooperate. There we go. Very good. All right. And, oh, I see something already right here. Now the shape of the Peninsula Cooter's egg is a little bit more of an oval. Um, if you notice, the snapping turtle egg looked more like a ping pong ball. So how cool is that? So this little lady, which happens very often, is that they're moving off, they're trying to find a place to safely lay their eggs, and unfortunately that means crossing a roadway and they get struck by a car. Um, they can also get struck by a car on their way back. So that's why we like to check for eggs. Um, that helps us to determine uh, how we're going to treat them 
and the things that we need to look out for. Right? All right. Well, congratulations, Mama. <laughs> we have one more to go. We're going to go grab a soft shell turtle. Or actually, you know what? I think we're going to bring everything to the soft shell turtle because she's 24 pounds and I don't feel like hauling her over here. All right, so we have our 24 pound soft shell. Uh, basically what happened with her is she was struck by a car on her way to lay eggs and uh, she did pass a few eggs upon her arrival. So we know she has them in there, but how many does she have left? If she has any left, so that's what the ultrasound is for at this time. Let's go ahead and get her and get her prepared. These big guys, I like to come to them. It's far less stressful. Let's see here. Let me see a little bit. Try to get past the leg a little more. I don't know. I'm not seeing any right now. We may have to try the other side. Sometimes you can see them better on one side than the other. So we may have finished passing all of them. Let's see if we can get a little further up. Mm. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, there's a couple, but those are all follicles. Um, so what we're seeing here is that they're very tiny and uh, they're not fully calcified. So they're basically little yellow balls of jelly if you've seen them in person. And uh, they are not developed. They are not ready to pass but that means she has potential of having more in the future. So that's a good thing, but I don't see any that are ready. So that is good news. That means that all she has to do now is heal up and get back out into the wild. Good job, you are so good. She says, okay, I'm done, here we go. Well, I hope you're enjoying our ultrasound adventure. And I know that there's probably some questions out there. And one of the more common ones we get is why does it matter if they have eggs or not when they come in injured? And the answer to that is the fact that the female might be holding back the eggs is stressful for them. Also, they can become egg impacted. So depending on the severity of their injury, that will determine for us if we need to help them to pass the eggs and then incubate them for release, which you have seen some of our release videos with the babies, I hope. Um, or does that mean that their injury is minor, they're only going to be here for a few days of observation and then placed back. And when they go back, hopefully they can successfully lay the eggs where they're at. So that helps us to kind of navigate how we want to handle that situation. Um, also, one of the other things that we will do is if we have to pass them, we will. We'll go ahead and incubate those eggs. As soon as those babies are hatched, we return them back to the wild as their mother intended. Hopefully their mother will be returned to the wild as well, but sometimes you know, that doesn't happen. If they have to be euthanized, we can at least save the babies. So if you have any other questions, you're always feel free to reach out to us. We're here to educate swampgirladventures.org. Uh, check out our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you name it, we got it. So till next time, have a happy swamp and adventure.